Hey guys, what's going on? Mike the Caveman Q here again, PaleoPromoLeonIsland, MikeTheCaveman.com. And today's question is, should you still take probiotics while you're on antibiotics? I'm the caveman. And the answer is, yes. Now, I've often described the use of antibiotics as basically nuking the playing field. We're destroying all of the resident bacteria and yeast and other microbes that are living inside your gut. Now, the problem with that is they're a major part of your health, right? We've talked about that ad nauseum. Now that of course begs the question, if the antibiotics kill the bacteria that are there, aren't I just gonna waste my time by taking probiotics at the same time? And to that I say, if you're in that war zone, wouldn't it make sense to possibly get in more troops to keep the fight going? Or at the very least, get them supplies? And that's exactly what we're doing with taking probiotics at the same time. The literature is extensive to the concurrent use of probiotics and antibiotics. In particular, a lot of the data backs the use of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. And in this case, because a lot of damage has been done to the gut, they actually may make it through. But a better bet will still be something like Megaspore. There's a couple of reasons why. One, if there's still any antibiotic that could kill those strains, well, they're going to remain in the spore form. But even more so, some of the strains that are in Megaspore, Bacillus colossi in particular, are actually resistant to most of those antibiotics. But even more than that, other strains like Bacillus subtilis and the variant Bacillus lichenformis can actually produce their own antibiotics that can take out pathogenic bacteria. In fact, that lichenformis strain is actually the source from which we've derived bacitracin, the topical antibiotic you might put on cuts. From there, I would definitely look at the probiotic yeast, Saccharomyces boulardii, the reason being, well, as a yeast, it's actually immune to those antibiotics. It's not going to be subject to that damage. Moreover, as a yeast, it is not subject to horizontal transfer of antibiotic resistance. What that means is that, yes, if you take in some probiotic bacteria, and if they are antibiotic resistant, there is a slim possibility of them transferring their genetic material over to the pathogenic, the bad bacteria. The beautiful thing about that yeast is that they can't transfer their data. The input and output cables, they don't match up. But if you are really concerned about that bacteria and yeast actually making it through and not interacting with the antibiotic, make sure you take the antibiotic first. Give it a couple hours, four or five hours, and then take your probiotics, and you're going to see a lot of benefit from that. So your biggest takeaways are that, yes, you absolutely should be taking probiotics when you have to be on antibiotics. In terms of what to take, we're definitely looking at the strains in Megaspore, like Bacillus clausii, Bacillus subtilis, and Bacillus lichenformis. We're looking at yeasts, like Saccharomyces boulardii, and potentially getting some extra diversity. Look at some Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium, that's the traditional probiotic bacteria, as well as some fermented foods. I know it's not going to have as much colonization, but it's still going to have a lot of benefit. So the yogurts, the kefirs, the kimchi, the sauerkrauts, the kombuchas, all that good stuff, Get some of that in too. But if you want some more information on probiotics, the gut microbiome specifically, or just gut health in general, take a look at this playlist over here. It's got a bunch of the videos that I've put together on that. Either way, hopefully it helped you out. You know what to do though. Like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends. Head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at MikeTheCaveman over on Facebook at Paleo Problem Island and of course over MikeTheCaveman.com. That being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. Go get some probiotics and I'll see you tomorrow. A ketone simply refers to a molecule that's carbon added in the center of a double-bonded oxygen.